Hello friends, I am Nikita and you are watching Prepare for Kid. The content of analog electronics is this. The topic to be discussed is frequency response and feedback amplifier. The frequency response of, of an air amplifier is almost trapezoidal in shape, having FL low frequency and FH high pass frequency. With a mid band, all with a mid band between FH and FL. Before FL, the pass uh, the gain fall because of the coupling and the bypass capacitors connected with the terminals of the MOSFET or PJT, be it base emitter or collector or drain gate or source which causes the low frequency band which causes the decrease in the low frequency band at mid band all capacitance can be rejected if you wish to calculate am in dv then it's 20 log mod of am at high frequency beyond fh the gain falls off due to the internal capacitive effects of the bgt or the mosfets we'll be discussing these capacitances further now here are some basic configurations and their amplifier gains are directly given because I have already talked about them so there is no need to further elaborate the process okay so you see, if you see it's a, uh, the common source it's a MOSFET the drain has a RD resistance having a current source and RG as input source. So if you wish to calculate the gain of the amplifier with V0 in respect to V signal then gain is for, no, for V0 and VI the gain will be minus GM RD in parallel with RL. Okay. However, if you wish to calculate the full midband gain with respect to V0, with respect to V signal, then it will be RG over R signal plus RG, RG into GM. GM is 1 over, GM is uh, 1 over. We can calculate GM by the formula like 2V over V over 2ID over V OV. Okay, or we can put that in the diode equation and solve the diode equation. Del of ID over del of VD is okay. In that equation, we can get the GM. Through that equation, we can get the GM. So that this will become the gain of the amplifier for a common source. You can see that plus minus V pi. V i 1 over gm 1 over gm is the internal conduct uh, resistance okay for the common <coughs> emitter we have talked about the common source earlier now for the common emitter the mid band gain amplifier will be minus r v in parallel with r pi r v in parallel with r pi divided by r b in parallel with r pi plus R signal GM into RC in parallel with R. Kindly look for this equation if it's correct or not. I think it's correct but kindly check it. In any case if you need that you can go through the my earlier videos on the full explanation of how the EM is calculated. The 3 dB frequency is FL is equals to 1 over 2 pi 1 over C1 RC1 plus CE RE plus C2 R2 and give you the 3 dB frequency. Now let's talk about the internal capacitive effects and the high frequency model of the MOSFET. Okay, in talking about it, I've directly shown the formulas 
so you can learn this formula this is the formula i was talking about for the transconductance mu n c u x w by l mod of u v which is equals to under root of 2 mu n c u x w by l i t and which is equal to 2 id over mu v or not when the channel modulation index is present then r naught is vao slash id cgs is 2 by 3 w l c o x plus w l overlook overlapping c o x cgd is w l c o x c s b c d b f t is g m over 2 pi c g s plus c g now if you can talk about the b j t high frequency model g m is equals to i c over vt cm plus c mu gm over 2 pi ft r naught is again v over ic i r pi is beta naught over gm c pi is cd e plus cg cg cd is tau f into gm this is depletion this is conjunction junction of common junction capacitance junction capacitance of common limiter depletion capacitance of common limit as we know depletion capacitance is in uh, reverse bias region and junction capacitance is in forward bias c mu is c g c 0 1 plus v c b over v c u to the power m now the high frequency response of common limit. if you look at uh, the following figure we will see that the input capacitance increase at high frequency because of the Miller effect C in is equals to C G S 1 minus K to obtain the wide band high frequency we use circuit which do not suffer from the effect of Miller common gate is one such example the side band frequency is 1 over 2 pi 1 over cgs into rgs cgt plus cl into rg rn is equals to r naught plus rn 1 plus g into r r out is r naught plus r signal plus gm r naught r signal the common source is staged with common heat amplifier high input resistance high voltage gain large say high large frequency now for common source the dc gain is minus gm into rl dash okay and for cast code it is minus a naught gm into rl dash f for 3 dv is 1 over 2 pi gm 1 over 2 pi cl plus cgd into rl dash. 1 over 2 pi cl plus cgt a naught into r l dash ft is equals to gm 2 pi cl plus cgt and g over 2 pi that remains the same but the other two is affected by the open loop frequent open loop gain also the high frequency response for source follow large sideband often used as a multi-stage amplifier voltage gain close to unity the low impedance gain in this common source amplifier is am rl in parallel to rl in parallel to r0 plus 1 over gm the output is r0 in parallel to 1 over gm for emitter follower the frequency is 1 over 2 pi c mu r mu plus c pi r pi this is the diagram gm v pi c pi c mu r pi r r pi is the input plus minus v pi is the voltage gm v pi rl r naught now here comes the feedback the feedback is feedback amplifier always will give a negative feedback and a feedback is a part of the output signal that is feedback to the input signal mostly it's a negative 
feet back. This is done to increase the gain of the amplifier to reduce noise. Let's suppose A is open loop gain, B is the BAB back vector, A plus A1 plus A beta is the amount of feedback, AF is the gain with feedback. Now the voltage gain of because of the negative feedback is AF is A1 plus A beta. The properties of negative feedback gain is del AF over here. A over 1 plus A beta del A over A. This is the same diagram which I was telling you earlier, but for here we need to calculate these values. How the frequency has shifted and increased with the amplifier. That is, the low frequency has decreased and high frequency has increased. Thus, the increase in bandwidth. There are basic four topology for an M feedback amplifier. So we, we may connect current and voltage in source uh, in series or in parallel in both the circuit and at the open voltage and at the output voltage. The feedback topology voltage mixing voltage sampling RIF is 1 plus A beta RI R naught F is R naught divided by 1 plus E beta series and shunt the current amplifier has a topology of shunt and series shunt current in the in the in the, in the input and voltage at the output no, current at the output so it is current mixing and current sampling. The input resistance is decreased and output resistance is increased. For transconductance amplifier and trans resistance amplifier, they have a series series feedback, voltage mixing, current sampling, and current mixing, voltage sampling. Shun Shun feedback for trans resistance. Now let's look at uh, one of the examples that appeared in gate that is a good transconductance amplifier. As I, we have already talked that transconductance amplifier will have a current at output and voltage at input. That means voltage mixing, current sampling. If it is a voltage mixing and current sampling, then it must be having a high resistance at input and low resist resistance at output. Let's see. For transconductance, I was telling you a high resistance at input and high resistance at output. Voltage mixing, current sampling, series, series feedback. So C is the answer. High input and output resistances. Thank you friends, that was all for today. If you like the video, kindly like it, subscribe it to my channel for further videos.